Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Happy Saturday. I thought I'd bring you guys along for a little weekend in my life. I'll probably bring this in too early next week because it is my birthday weekend. Or I guess my birthday is on Tuesday, so I don't know. I guess like the closest to my birthday. We've already started off with a bang. I went out with my friends last night, which was a lot of fun. We had, I was going to say we had a late night, but we got home at like almost 12. That's late for me as an early... 27 year old especially on a friday like after a full week of work i was exhausted but we had a lot of fun we went to merry maker which is like a rooftop bar here in adelaide i've never been there before but it was really nice i'd love to go up there for like sunset i feel like that would be really beautiful and the cocktails were i also met a couple of you guys so thank you for saying hi um made my night and then we went to an escape room which was so fun we did the jailbreak one which nick and i had done before like once before with my best friend Olivia, but it had been a long time since we'd done it. And honestly, we didn't get very far. There was only four of us and this time there was seven, so it was a lot easier. And we escaped. Proud to say we escaped. We are jailbreakers. So yeah, that was my night last night. It was really fun. My friends, as always, spoiled me. They got me the cutest card. I'll show you guys. Yeah, it was a good, good way to kick off the weekend. Today, Nick is taking the reins. He has had cricket training, not cricket training, a cricket game, cricket coaching game this morning. He just got home. So we are gonna go head to brunch somewhere. No, we're gonna get a coffee, take Mabel for a walk and then go for brunch. I guess at this point it's like lunchtime almost. And then I think this afternoon we're just gonna have a chill night in, watch the last Harry Potter movie. because so we've been on a Harry Potter marathon, rewatch marathon. And then, I think we're gonna cook dinner together and just like have a chill night. Tomorrow Nick is out all day. I think I'm gonna clean the house because, wait till I show you guys, it's such a mess. We've both just had one of the busiest weeks ever between work and just like other stuff we've had going on. We've both just like simply not had the time to keep it clean. We were really on like a good rhythm with our cleaning. We were doing like 15, 20 minute tidies every single day and then yeah, life just got the best of us. It's been a crazy week. So I think I'm going to clean tomorrow or maybe this afternoon um, so I can wake up in a clean house. And yeah, then I have work Monday and then Tuesday is my actual birthday and I never work Tuesdays. So I think I'm going to hang out with my parents. I'm going to go for brunch. I'm a big brunch girl, if you can already tell. But yeah, a fun few days of celebration and activities. I'm excited to bring you guys along. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Ella. I'm 26. It's probably going to be the last video that I'll ever say that. I live in Adelaide, South Australia. I work part-time as a travel agent and part-time for myself doing social media. Um, I do a lot of vlogs and lifestyle content as well as money um, and personal finance videos. So if any of that is your vibe, definitely subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'm excited to bring you guys along. It's going to be a fun, fun couple of days. I just can't believe I'm going to be 20 freaking 7. Yeah. Let's start planning the funeral, guys. We've come for a little run around. This is actually my old school. I can finally show you guys. Yes, she is. In all of her glory. Ready? Good morning you guys and happy Sunday. I've gotten a glimmer of motivation so I'm just rolling with it. I think I'm going to film like a little cleaning TikTok perhaps? I don't know. I'm gonna film some clips of me cleaning and then maybe put it together for a TikTok. That's really my only motivation right now to clean. I'm gonna tidy up this place. I'll show you guys it before. I told you that it was a mess and I'm not kidding. This is actually probably the least messy of all the rooms in the house right now. And that's saying a lot. Here's what the kitchen's looking like. I have my work stuff still set up over there from this week. Nick was using that on Friday. So I need to move that. Need to fluff up all the cushions. We have a chair of clean laundry that we have to grab from the washing line because it started raining, so I need to fold that. It's stressing me out. Like I've said this once and I'll say it again. A clean house really is a clean mind for me and my mind 
she's not clean right now. She is stressed to the nines and feeling very overwhelmed. I think I said before, but it's been like a very busy week between social media and work and Nick's stuff and his work. Like we just, neither of us have really been in the mindset of cleaning or even just like keeping on top of the house, which we've been really good at recently. So I just want to clean, start fresh for the new week and then keep on top of it. If you let it slip one day, it's all over Red Rover. So since I have nothing else to really do this afternoon, I'm going to clean and make a cute little TikTok. Just quickly, I thought I'd show you guys what my friends got me for my birthday. Firstly, the card. Look at this card. <laughs> little Mabel Moo. So cute. So sweet. I have the bestest friends. And then... They got me. Sol de Janeiro. I can never say it. Sol de Janeiro. You know what I'm saying. After hours. I think this is one of their new ones. It smells so good. We all had a little spritz of it on Friday night. And then I've been wanting to try this for ages. Influenced by TikTok fully. The Kosas. Kosas? The Kosas Concealer. Gorge. Can't wait to try that. Thoroughly spoiled, as always. Um. Oh, I also got a package from one of you guys. Let's quickly open this now before I start cleaning. <laughs> Not me literally finding every excuse under the sun to prolong my cleaning duties. Excuse me, you're gonna help me. You're like a little sniffer dog. What's in there? It says fragile, handle with care. So I'm intrigued to see what this is. It smells really good. Oh my gosh, stop. Stop it right now. Look at what I'm seeing straight off the bat. Mabel, you are so nosy. Oh my gosh. Oh, Mabel, no. This is sentimental. Not everything's for chewing. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Vicky. I am literally about to best it is. This is the most thoughtful letter. And this looks like the most thoughtful gift. She's included, she said here, a handmade doily from her recent wedding. Her auntie spent two and a half hours per doily hand crocheting 70 of them just for the day. I'm at like a loss for words. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. This is like the most thoughtful, sweetest thing ever. I can see how it took her two and a half hours. Look at that. That is so, Mabel, she just saw my letter. Come here, give it back. You cannot steal everything. Not everything's for you. I know, it's a hard lesson to learn, love, but you gotta learn it somehow. This is beautiful. I think I might put this in my office, maybe. Cute little candle. Ooh, some freeze-dried Skittles. She's written a little note about everything that she's included. So, freeze-dried Skittles and the chalk-covered freeze-dried strawberries are from our local strawberry farm, Handa Seeds? Handa Sides? Wow, I'm excited. Freeze-dried Skittles, should we try one of these? I did just brush my teeth, but... Mmm. Oh my god, it's like... melts in your mouth. Here, you can have this. Can you sip? Here you go. She doesn't look satisfied, <laughs> but anything to keep her off about. Some mixed chocolate freeze dried strawberries. <gasps> I was just thinking about how I needed a new claw clip. Thanks! An avocado, thanks! A nice big one as well for me. Fuck her. From her friend's brand, Allure Home and Body. Oh, this is what she was talking about. Rebirth, the rebirth candle. This is one of her latest candles as her life has gone through a transformation too, much like ours. And it's her fave scent yet. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Wow. Trust the magic of new beginnings. Sweet pea, jasmine, peach, nectar, and vanilla. And it's hand poured in Albany, WA. That is stunning. Is that the most beautiful candle you've ever seen? It smells so good. Yum. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look also really good in my office with my little doily. The pink, the pink and white, I love it. Extra passion, triple scented car diffuser. 
Peace out. I feel like I sound so Australian recently, which is like really alarming. Obviously I've lived in Australia for like two thirds of my life now, but I was watching a TikTok. There's a girl that I went to school with, like primary school with that makes TikToks. And I was showing Nick this morning. I was like, this is what I would have probably sounded like if I still lived in England. She has some, like, the sweetest, coolest accent ever. And now I'm here, like, g'day. Put a shrimp on the barbie. I'm from Australia. No! Okay, so this is a triple scented car diffuser in exotic passion. Oh, I can already smell it from here. It smells like lush. Oh my gosh, how cute. And then we have one last candle. This is the flower bomb one, which she said is her second favorite scent. You're gonna help me, Mabel Moo. Mmm. This one doesn't have a scent description, but... I'm getting notes of, <laughs> I wanna say like vanilla. <sighs> Something else in there that smells so nostalgic. I don't know, it smells divine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clean this house from top to bottom and then light one of these bad boys. The amount of thought that's gone into this and just hearing about how my content resonates with you and makes you feel even just a little bit less alone. That is honestly like the sole reason that I do these videos. brush um they didn't have the one that you sent me so that's the closest one they have that? available Love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Belly rubs. You want a belly rub. You're so cute, Maple Moo. Good official morning, you guys, and happy Tuesday. It is my 27th birthday. It still feels so weird saying that. I feel like 27 just sounds so old. I'm officially in my late 20s, which is just wild to me. I just don't think I'll ever get used to aging. <laughs> I just don't think I will. My mind is like not keeping up with my body, but yes. 27. I feel like it sounds like a solid age. Excited to be here. Honestly, just like reflecting on the last year that I've had, my 26th year, it's just so crazy. The 
things that I've been able to accomplish in the last 12 months and to be at this point in my life. I'm so grateful. I've just woken up with like so much gratitude. And I love birthdays. Like I love, I love my birthday. I love other people's birthdays. I think it's such a good opportunity to just like sit back and reflect on the last 12 months and yeah, I'm feeling really, really grateful to be where I am now. I feel like I've done so much in the last 12 months. Excited for the day ahead. I don't work Tuesdays and Thursdays are like my social media days, but I worked like over the weekend so that I could really like enjoy today. I still have some emails and some editing to do, but for the most part, I've like freed up today to enjoy. So I'm going to go for brunch with my parents. I think they're going to be here in the next little bit. We're going to go to Naughty Boy, um, which is in like Henley. I've seen it on TikTok and... Instagram. Oh, my manager's calling me. One moment. Here's a little Costco haul for you all. I got some bagels. They were two for 12, I want to say. And they're like big, big bad boy bagels. It's now Thursday, so I've already tucked into these. I got plain ones and then blueberry ones. And then these I thought would be nice to stow away for Christmas. White chocolate pretzels with candy cane sprinkles. I couldn't, I couldn't say no. And then this is like not exciting in the slightest. I got Nick some no-show socks and some shorts. He's wearing a set of these LED glass Christmas trees. I cannot wait to decorate for Christmas, you guys. Got some magic erasers and then a clean spin mop bucket system. We have laminate floors and it's really important to not get them too wet. So I thought this would be a good little option. We already have so much stuff on the carpet even though we cleaned it was a few days ago thanks Mabel Moo. Nick's mum also dropped by on my birthday and brought around these beautiful bouquet of flowers. How stunning is this? And she also got me an Endota Spa gift voucher which is so sweet. It's so funny my parents also got me an Endota Spa gift card as well. Clearly I'm giving off like stress vibes and my parents, my sister got me a um, reed diffuser and she said she has something else coming in the mail. She got me a reed diffuser for the house. My mom got me a candle for the house. That's when Olivia got me a candle for my house. They just know me so well. Or maybe I'm giving off stressed, smelly house vibes. I don't know. But I'm very happy with my new candles. This one smells so good. They both do actually. It's like vanilla caramel. This is me in a candle. Honestly, it's so pretty as well. Nice big one. Thanks, mom and dad. And then, yeah, my bestie, Olivia, got me a gingerbread house one. This one is so beautiful. This is Christmas decor in and of itself. Like, look at that. Isn't that stunning? And then it smells divine. I'm so excited for Christmas. I'm actually thinking about decorating maybe this weekend. Oh, I don't know. I have to work this weekend, so maybe not. But I really want to decorate. Pretty much as soon as my birthday's over, it's Christmas in my eyes. Yep. I make the rules. It's all about me. I know some people are strictly, and my parents are like this, which is funny because they, they love Christmas, but my mum refuses to put up the Christmas tree until December 1st. I am more of the mindset that it takes so long to decorate, to set up the tree, get everything out. Like it's a full day task, you know? Um, so I'm very much of the mindset that if I'm gonna put that much effort into decorating my house, I wanna enjoy it for as long as possible. Um, so like two months minimum. It's also like, you know, who am I hurting? Absolutely no one. I'll just enjoy my Christmas grotto. But I'm so excited to be in our own house and to decorate our own house. Not that it's really gonna change much, but I feel like I can really invest in some pieces and like curate my Christmas decor style, I guess you could say, because I know that we're gonna be here for at least the next, I don't know. I actually don't know how long we'll be here. The foreseeable future. So it feels only right to, to decorate. I'm really excited. Obviously I'll be vlogging and I'll bring you guys along. But yeah, happy Thursday. I don't think I really picked up the camera much on my actual birthday because I went out with my parents for brunch and then we went to Costco, hence my Costco purchases. My first time being there in a really long time. My parents have memberships, I don't. Um, but I think I want to go back at least one more time before Christmas because I had some really cool Christmas stuff. I kept it to a minimum with my one Christmas decor purchase, 
but I feel like I could go back and definitely do some more damage. Also just like Christmas gift shopping in general. I feel like they had some really cool stuff. Yeah, and then I came home. I had some social media work to do, so I got that done and here we are. I had work yesterday, worked from home. I need to sort out my desk. I've been working down here recently because I have my iMac up in my office now. And it's kind of nice being down here. Like this is a good setup. I've got the comfy, comfy chair. It's just nice to be in our dining space. My work from home setup is super like easy to set up and then put back down. I just store it in the cupboard under the stairs because I only work from home one day a week. Um, so it's nice. And then I can keep my office for my social media stuff. Um, so that's been working really well. I've got my monitor and then just like the little dock and that's it. So um, I've been doing that on my work from home days, which are every Wednesday. I had a pretty shitty day yesterday. I'm not gonna lie guys, it was pretty, I don't know, something in the air, I feel. Just like, I don't know, I don't really wanna go into it. Nothing with like my actual place of employment, but just like a not nice experience. But I guess you get that with um, a customer facing role. I just wish people were a little bit nicer. You know, it's really not that hard to be a nice human being. That's just me. That's just me. Other than work yesterday, I had an amazing last couple of days celebrating my birthday. I feel really good about being 27. I'm really excited to see where this year takes me. Just like reflecting on the last 12 months, it's actually insane how much Nick and I have done. Like this time a year ago, I was working in an entirely different job, entirely different industry. I was about to be let go from that job. And now I'm here working in the travel industry, which I love, working for myself. I've been partially self-employed for almost an entire year now, which is crazy. We're in our own home that we own. We have our own dog that we've been talking about for years. And I've had so many amazing opportunities, even in the last few months alone, like going away with Jetstar was like literally dream bucket list thing. Like I would never have imagined that. And all these amazing brands that I've been able to work with and signing with a management agency. So many cool career milestones and just like life milestones, reconnecting with my sister, which I'm so grateful for. I talked about that in my last vlog, we'll kind of touch on it. We'll touch on how I don't want to touch on my relationship with my sister, but being able to celebrate my birthday with my sister is definitely not something I take for granted. And with Christmas coming up, I'm excited to have her by my side. And um, yeah, I'm married now and it's just so great. Well, I was married this time last year, but now I feel like I'm really married, like in the depths of marriage, in the best way. And yeah, just so much has happened in the last 12 months. It's actually crazy. Yeah, I'm just really excited to see where the next 12 months take me. A lot more self-care, a lot more like just really prioritizing myself and looking after myself because you can't pour from an empty cup. That's one thing I've learned <laughs> this year. And if I keep neglecting myself and don't look after myself, hence the spa vouchers. Um, it's gonna catch up to me, uh, whether it's physically or mentally. So yeah, I've come up to my office now so I can finish editing off this vlog. And I also have an Instagram real TikTok that I wanna film up here. So gosh, I'm so silly. I've left my tripod downstairs, haven't I? Bloody hell. Honestly, that's probably one of the only things that I dislike about living in a two story house is that downstairs or upstairs if I'm downstairs feels like a million miles away. I feel like I'm so strategic about my movements within the house because just getting up and down the stairs, like it just feels, it's not, but it feels so much more work. It feels like a different house. I don't know if that makes any sense. So yeah, I need to go back down and grab my tripod. Also, I realized I had lip balm. It was like freaking frothing in the corner. My mouth, I'm so worried, that's so distracting. I think it's gone now, hopefully. I think I lathered it on too much. Anyway, all that to say, I think I need to like look after myself <laughs> this next year. And I had this exact same thought process this time a year ago, and it was just before I lost my job. And I'm not like manifesting that or like putting that out there by any means, but I feel like if you aren't willing to make those hard calls in life, I feel like the universe has a funny way of doing it for you. And I don't want that. I want to be in control. <laughs> I'm in control freak. Okay, some decisions to be made, some some thoughts to be had. I'm feeling really good going into 27. Definitely some work to do. There's always work to do in some aspect or another, but I'm feeling very, very grateful for this life. I want to say the biggest thank you to all of you guys as well for coming along on this crazy journey, supporting my channel, 
watching my videos, commenting on my Instagrams, or my TikToks, and yeah, just really being there through all of the highs and lows. I always endeavor to give you guys like the most real, authentic look at my life in the best way that I can and, and in the way that I feel the most comfortable. Um, at the end of the day, like what I'm posting is just a small snippet of my life, but hopefully I'm able to portray it in the most accurate of ways. <sighs> Mabel's got something, of course. Keeping it real. <laughs> oh my gosh. What have you done? Mabel Moo. Oh my goodness. How could you be mad at that? Mabel Moo. What have you done? Anyway, with that, I'm going to end off this vlog here, but I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for coming along with me for my 27th birthday. I promise there'll be a lot more vlogs coming. It's been kind of a little bit off my vlogging game, but getting back after it. And it's nearly the end of the month, which means it's nearly time for another reset. I feel like I just did one because I did my mid-month reset, um, like check-in video, but here we are. It's nearly November, guys, which means it's nearly Christmas. I'm so excited. Anyway, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you very, very soon for another video. Bye, guys. Do just what you want.